Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of methods, side hustles and online jobs you can use to earn money as a college student in 2024. Most of these with little to zero skills and experience needed. So without further ado, drop a like and now let us get started right away with student job number one on our list, which is testing games. Yes, you heard right. I know this may sound absolutely crazy, but there are companies out there that pay gamers for playtesting some of the most recently launched games on the market. For example, mobile games you can play on your iOS or on your Android. Like Playtest Cloud, for instance, these guys are currently looking for passionate gamers from all over the globe to join their team of game testers. Or take this one here, Game Around, another playtesting platform that is looking for gamers to share their honest feedback and opinion about selected games so that their feedback may help game developers fix glitches and bugs and in general improve the game's quality before the game gets released on the market. Because guys, that's exactly what would be your responsibility as a freelance game tester. You would be given access to a game, for example, to play on your smartphone or tablet or on your computer. And your task would be to play the given game for a specific amount of time, like an hour, a day, or in some cases even a week and to test it in terms of its functionality and user friendliness and user experience and to report any bugs or technical issues you find to your client or to the developer and that's basically it. Of course you're gonna need some decent English skills to pull this off because clients and developers may ask you to share your honest opinion with them for example through short surveys and questionnaires but also in one-on-one -on -one video calls. Also, some playtesting platforms such as Playtest Cloud, for example, may require from testers to go through a short qualification test to make sure you actually are a good fit as a game tester. These qualification tests are usually pretty short and can be completed in less than 30 minutes, I have learned. Testers would get asked a couple of questions and also would be given a series of tasks to do on screen while being recorded like playing a game for testing purposes. It's actually no rocket science and usually you get easy to understand instructions to follow. What about the payment rates? Well, some platforms offer fixed payment rates per conducted game test like 9 USD for a 15 minute long test here on Playtest Cloud. Some though may pay per bug and technical issues we report and some platforms also pay game testers and rewards such as physical goods like gaming equipment, gaming gear or consoles. They do this for instance on game rounds. So if you're a passionate gamer and a student, playtesting may be something for you to earn some nice money on the side. Then we got product testing. Now this one is pretty similar to the previous student job on our list with the significant difference that as a product tester, it would be your responsibility to test not games, but physical or digital products such as blenders, LED lights, kitchen appliances, navigation systems or software and even websites and apps. Products that are about to be released on the market. Product testing will most likely not make you insanely wealthy. We gotta be realistic here guys. But it definitely may earn you some nice money on the site each month. Even as a college student, most product tests can be done remotely and conveniently from the comfort of your own home. That's why there are called remote tests, some even online like testing website and apps and may bring you actually decent payment rates per conducted test like $3 to $30 per test as they claim here on user feel. Of course, your clients will expect from you to report only factual, real technical issues and to share your honest, unbiased opinion about the given product with them and about its functionality as well as user friendliness. Share your opinions, get paid, they got that right. Earn money for your feedback on real products. Exactly, there we have it. These guys here on user interviews, for instance, feature masses of consumer brand surveys, product tests and market research studies registered testers may participate in from all over the world. Studies like this year, for example, $100 for a one-on-one -on -one interview online that may last approximately one hour, 30 minutes. 
85 bucks for an hour long interviewer study, $150 and so on and so forth. Most of them can be done or conducted online. Some though need to be conducted on site, which is actually pretty different from client to client. Then we got student job or side hustle number three on our list, chatting with people online. Yes, you heard right, you can earn money nowadays simply by sending people text messages, for example, via text messaging services and by being registered as so-called chat operators on platforms such as this one here, Texting Factory. For example, you may start with this as a side hustle, do this, let's say, for a couple of hours per week and gradually increase your workload if you believe this is a part-time job or even full-time job worth your time and sweat. Texting Factory, for example, claims their chat operators earn on average $300 per week. Of course, the height of your monthly earnings may vary depending on factors like your workload, the amount of text messages you send to clients, your work proficiency, and also the time of the day or week you work. For example, some of these platforms reward chat operators who work on weekends or during holidays with higher payment rates and various bonuses. What would be your task as a so-called chat operator? Well, that's actually pretty simple. You would be given a fantasy name and a fantasy avatar so that you can stay 100% anonymous during these chats. And it would be your task to have friendly conversations with clients via text messaging services. Some clients may be looking for someone to lend them an ear, for example, and you as a chat operator would get paid per text message you send to your client. Pretty trivial. All you need for this is a computer with a working and stable internet connection some decent typing speed, and also some well-developed English skills. You might, for instance, have conversations with your clients about topics like the weather, but also about your favorite sports team or your client's favorite sports team, about movies, TV series, food, you name it. But sometimes even about topics like human relationships, politics, or religion. So having some kind of an open mind might turn out to be quite beneficial for that type of job. Uh, luckily, you can do this worldwide and sign up, for example, here on Texting Factory from anywhere in the world, no matter whether you live in the United States, the UK, Canada, Nigeria, India, or Brazil. Student job number four on our list pet sitting and dog walking. Now, that job is something for those of you guys who prefer spending time rather outdoors than in front of a computer, I'd say. And for those who love pets, cats and dogs in particular, pet sitting marketplaces such as Rover, for instance, or WAG will allow you to turn your passion for animals and pets into real cash and to sign up either as a pet caregiver or as a dog walker. You don't necessarily have to be a certified dog trainer or pet sitter to do this, guys. Everyone is allowed to join regardless of the educational or professional background. However, be prepared because you should have some basic knowledge of pet care and pet sitting if you want to do this professionally or let's say semi-professionally because most of these pet sitting and dog walking platforms ask applicants to pass qualification tests in which they are asked questions like, for instance, how they would react in heated situations with other dogs or other dog owners and how they would react to keep everyone safe in these situations. Because taking care of pets, dogs and cats in particular, is not only fun, as you probably know, it is also a lot about responsibility and about safety precautions. Keep that in mind, guys. Also, some pet sitting and dog walking marketplaces are looking for dog walkers and pet sitters only in specific countries or regions in the world, like in the US or in the UK, Take that in account too. And last but not least, student job number five on our list, proofreading. For instance, guys, if you'd like to earn some extra bucks on the side by editing, proofreading, and also fact-checking other people's written content like articles, blogs, AI-generated text, and even website content, you may do that too, of course. For example, you may market and sell your skills as a proofreader on the biggest freelance marketplaces out there, which are Fiverr and Upwork, as you probably know, but since the competition there on Fiverr and on Upwork is pretty fierce, I'd argue, I'd suggest you diversify a bit and add other proofreading platforms, such as this one here, proofreadingservices.com, to your portfolio and give them a try. For example, these guys here on proofreadingservices.com claim to pay rates of $19 to $46 per hour, which would be a pretty decent payment rate per hour, I'd say. Of course, depending on factors such as the turnaround time 
and your work quality and your skills as a proofreader, understandably, you can expect to get paid the highest rates for the most urgent deadlines, which should be pretty self-explanatory. So guys, I'd say we call it a day here. That would be option number five, how you can earn money as a college student in 2024. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you around.